What's up YouTube, Mark Zardwell. So today I'm using Super Nerd Geo's rental team. He sent it to me a couple of days ago. This is the kid who humiliated me on his channel. He defeated me twice. Yes, that's the video. And if you watch it, this guy's got a syrup on his table. Pete he got caught with a thousand bottles of baby oil. Super Nerd Geo probably got about a thousand bottles of syrup in his kitchen no wonder why he defeated me his energy level was so high so he gave me a rental team to use and like i said that's his channel so this is the rental team so i have an amphros a primarina a moongus a saluna incineroar ferigaraf well this looks more like a trick there yeah, yeah it's trick room um i don't think this will do well in tailwind though Unless I just put someone to sleep with the Moongus, if I can pull that off. I've never used the Amphros, so I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, on the Trick Room, I would excel in Trick Room, it's minor. Um, I love the fact that a Moongus has got Regenerator as well. I don't usually use it, but it is very good in Trick Room, because I can switch it in and switch it out, and I can restore back some health. So, let's get the first battle started. So my opponent's team kind of looks like Trick Room is kind of it's like both. Could they go fast or could they go slow? I'm gonna start off with Primarine and Frigoraf. I'm gonna bring the uh, Saloon. I'm thinking should I bring the Amphrost or Moongus? No, I bring up bring a Moongus. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 happy with this. Yeah, man. Let's go. All right, I hope they start off with this uh, metal gross. I don't think they will. Oh, mouse hold. All right, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Detect. Okay, that's gonna use population bomb most likely or taunt. Oh my gosh, bro! Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem if we get taunted. Wow. So throat spray kicked in. I used hyper voice. Wow. I'm gonna have to switch in to Amoongus. Hopefully he does population bomb into that slot. Close combat. I eat that. Okay. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? No, he doesn't go into the slot. He doesn't go. Okay, that's yeah. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> wow, people really wasn't even there for that long. Seven times. I've got a seven piece. All right, it's got a speed boost. All right, so now I'm gonna switch into Ferrigaraf. I'm gonna Terra and Moongus into Water, and I'm gonna use Rage Powder, and I'm gonna use Trick Room with Ferrigaraf. If I can get a population bomb into Amoongus, that's going to be put. Oh my god, this is perfect. Did Whoa, that is a bit too much, though. It is a bit too much. Come on, Mousehold. Thank you. You never use Taunt. Mousehold is going to perish. Rocky Helmet is going to take you to the Shadow Realm. RIP. Told you. <laughs> like you're not lasting <laughs> that is population's bomb achilles hill when you've got like an item that's got rocky helmet like it eventually will just perish okay so the rotom comes out okay blazerkin does detect but i use spore like you've been doing it too much blazerkin so i was thinking you're gonna most likely do it again you know, but you never know. That's why I use psychic noise. But just to make sure, I had to shut it down anyway. So now, psychic noise deletes that blazerkin instantly. Okay, Rotom is still asleep. That's good. So who they got left? It's the Gengar. Ah, uh, minor. So I use hyper voice. Yes, that did a lot. Good. 
Oh man, it had a citrus. Man. Yeah, I prefer the Ferregraph that's got throat spray though, as well. How are these? I like, what is this? I swear that like, that move is, um, the accuracy is like 70%. Like, that is wild. So you spawn the gang, it just deletes my Ursa Luna instantly. Man. Come on, Frigora, finally, man. Put it. That is just not fair, man. Alright, it's just me and the Gengar left. I mean, the Amoongus and Frigora. <laughs> Gets the Gengar. Alright, so I use Rage Powder. Trick Room's over. So I'm going to start Trick Room again. Because that's what I believe Super Nerd Geo would do. That kid's a demon! <laughs> he embarrassed me. So I use Pollen Puff. Now I use Sidekick Noise. That sticks to final nail on Ganga's coffin. Yeah, RIP. Perfect. Alright, on to the next battle. GG to my Pollen though. Yep, alright, so, ooh, opponent has a Halucha, Indeedee, King Gambit, Gastodon, Armourood, and Hypno. I rarely see like Hypno and Halucha, you know, I don't see it that much. King Gambit, Armourood, Indeedee, yeah, but. So I'm going to finally use Ampros though. This is going to be amazing because I've never used this Pokemon, like in regular... There's not one regulation that where I've ever used it. Not at all. So Gastodon comes out and Armourood. I start off with Ursa Luna and the Amphros. So I Terra Ursa Luna. I probably should not have Terra there. I'm thinking to myself, they're gonna do Trick Room. So I thought I need to get this off the field ASAP, the Armourood. They probably might do Surf as well, so that's why I had to Terra. Come on, Amphros, don't miss it. Let's go. Perfect. No trick room here. Alright, I've got that off the field. What are you doing? Oh, Earth Power, that's gonna do a lot. Damn, that nearly killed me. Indeed, he comes out. Alright, they're still gonna most likely try trick room here. In prison? What are you doing in prison for? It's got hyper voice. It sealed hyper voice. Are you kidding me? Like, why has it got hyper? Ah, oh, these. Ah, oh, swear, man. People do some weird things in in this regulation, man. Hyper voice, really? Come on, man. So, Gastodon protects. I use Blood Moon. Perfect. R.I.P. indeed, you are annoying as hell. I oh, use energy ball here. Man. That would have one shot that Gastodon instantly. Like, if only, you know. Alright, who's next? Ooh, I'm gonna have to switch out. That's gonna be. So yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out. I should probably do Sucker Punch. Alright, so I Terra. Oh yeah, it's got Storm <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. I forgot, bro. Oh, I forgot. Man. Kowtow, oh my God, I'm gonna die here. I literally forgot Yawn, oh my gosh. This, oh man. So I gotta switch that out. Spy Spore on the King Gambit. Alright. Oh my god, it has a berry to wake it up. The Lumberry. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. Damn. 
<laughs> Look, I'm just dying out here. Wow. So I use protect. Because he's most likely going to sucker punch, so. So I protect with the Gastrodon. So I use Calm Mind. Yep, yep. Iron Hand. Oh my gosh. Wait, why did I use Protect? Oh my, the Psychic Terrain was up. Bro, I didn't even realize. I was thinking to myself, like, why isn't it doing suck up? It can't do sucker punch because the psychic terrain, that's why. I just made it a battle longer. Oh, this was terrible, man. It, oh, you know, some, you know, Super Nerd is going to be like, bro, this guy is stupid, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, you should have, you could have killed that King Gambit ages ago. Come on, Primarina, let's go. I still won, though, even though I played terrible, man. I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm more thinking no sucker punch, but he but he couldn't do it because psychic terrain was up. Uh, that was a terrible battle, man. Alright, on to my, my third and final battle. So my opponent has a Dondozo, Rillaboom, Sneezler, Volcarano, Batscalibur, and a King Gambit. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Amphros Ursa Luna. I'm gonna bring a Moongus and Ferrigarath. Yeah. Um, they're probably gonna bring Rillaboom and Sneasler and the Dundozo. Hopefully, they don't bring King Gambit. But that Pokemon is just so annoying. Spoke too soon. Like, spoke too soon. <sighs> Pony starts out with Rillaboom, King Gambit. I've got the Amphros and the Farriga Rap. I'm gonna have the Terra. Into Fairy. U turn, and that's why I had to terror. <laughs> that is simple. <laughs> okay, so who are you bringing out? The Dondozo. Kaltar, do not delete you. Static, perfect. Hopefully, it's just paralyzed. Can't move the next turn. I used Meteor Beam into the Rillaboom slot, but now it's Dondozo. I don't know how much it's going to do. That's max health than Dozo. Must be. Barely did, barely did anything. Like, barely. Alright. So I got Trick Room up. Bro protects. That's going to be quite annoying. Oh my god, it's... Oh yeah, it's paralyzed and it's... Oh man, I, I, that that really gets to me, man. When I do something, I paralyze and they're still moving, bro. Like, yeah, but it's it's not certain though. Anyway, this is why I, I prefer throat spray. Like, it's like the hyper voice is not going to be doing that much. Not that much at all. All right, I need to bring in Ursa Luna now. I had to switch out the Ferrigarath, bring him the Amoongus, protects, I'm okay with that. I still got Trick Room up. Yawn? Oh my gosh, bro. My gosh. Next turn, he's just, he's just gonna protect. I did Earth Power on the King Get. Oh, come on, man. Bro, I should have, I probably should have switched out the, the uh, Saluna there. Man, and now Brother Boom comes out. Protect. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, this is this is an annoying opponent. So obnoxious. Come on, Earth Power into that slot barely does anything. Now I'm, I'm gonna be a slope, so I just gotta switch out into Ferrigera. Whoa, chill, bro. Bro tried to end me with the fisher, you know. Damn. Literally. Damn, look how much damage that did. Yeah, then again, he's got the grassy terrain up. It's not a lot. Wow. 
trick room is over. Right, grassy terrain's over. U turn. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I'm okay. So King Gambit comes out. I use Pollen Puff on the Ferrigarath. Get back some health. Yeah, this battle is definitely a marathon. It's gonna be a long battle. But I'm gonna do my best though. So I had to switch out Moongus. I bring in the sleepy Freddy. Come on, Ursaluna, man. Wake up. Wake up, Ursaluna. So I'm gonna use Psychic Noise on the Dondozo. I don't want it to be recovering from no leftovers. So my opponent terrors King Gambit into Fairy. Hopefully it's still paralyzed. Perfect. I mean, it can't move when it's paralyzed. But sometimes they can be paralyzed and they can still move. Dice Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, look at that. Barely does end. Tell you, this was Throat Spray. I'll do far more damage. Chill! The Fisher. And it woke up. That's just... And my Earth Luna is still sleeping. Like, literally still sleeping. Come on, wake up, Ursa Luna. Still sleeping. Wow. Come on, Ursa Luna. Man, wake up. Fisher Arch hit off you. It didn't hit. It's still sleeping, Ursa Luna. It's like, this is... I swear to be sleeping for like three, is it three turns now? Like, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. It's still sleeping. Wow. Come on, man. Like, that's just not fair. Dead and Dozo wakes up. But my one's just taking some long hour sleep. Now I've got to switch back. The, the Ferrigarath. Now I've got to bring in the Moongus. Um, I finally woke up. What, is it because I just brought in the Moongus? Damn. That was so annoying, man. Crazy. Alright. So Rillaboon comes out. Who's their last Pokemon? Don't do no Quiver Dance Heat Wave, bro. Please don't do that. That's going to be a problem. So I protect with uh, Saluna. I'm going to use Spore on the Volcarona. It's Heat Wave. Could be worse. It could be Quiver Dance Heat Wave. <sighs> Come on. Come on. So you spore. Let's go. Alright, so I got it to sleep. I probably should switch out. You know what? I probably should have switched out. So, you know, there's no way I'm surviving that, bro. No way. I probably should have just switched it out on hindsight and use pollen puff on the Rilla Boom. Yeah, I think if I did that, I'd have probably knocked out the um, Rilla Boom and survived one heat wave. And give Volcarona the box. Oh my god. This is like. Bro! My Ursa Luna was sleeping for like about three, four turns. I put Volcarona to sleep, it wakes up the next turn like a demon. Like, how fair is this, man? This is unfair, man. Like, wow. Like. I literally was trying my I tried so much. Oh man, this was this was so frustrating man, I cannot believe. Yeah, two out of three wins.